Hey YouTube family, welcome back to my channel. So in my last vlog, I told you guys I had to... Uh, I told you guys gonna have to deal with that too. It, it just happens. I think he does it on purpose when I talk. To shut me up, he just bites his toy. Anyhow, I don't know if you guys remember, last vlog I was telling you guys that today I had to attend a YouTube event happening in the New York location YouTube space. And it was, well it's called, it was called, The Voice of Women on YouTube. Something like that. I basically went to a panel and listened to some amazing YouTube ladies speak and we got some really great advice. The best part was that I got to meet Deepika Mutiella. I don't know if I'm saying her name right. I don't know how to say anyone's name for heaven's sake. But I will call her D. I'll list her channel down below so you guys know exactly who I'm talking about. I'm pretty sure you know already. But she's seriously amazing and her story and how quick her channel is growing. Just wow. So I definitely wanted to hear advice from her. and. Actually, that is the sole purpose of me going to that whole YouTube thing. I honestly would not have went if she wasn't there speaking. So, yeah, I dragged my butt out of bed just for her. And the weather was so horrible, you guys. Speaking about the weather, oh my goodness. It actually worked to my favor that the weather was so bad. Because the weather was so bad and outside was like so shitty, a lot of the panel people and just everyone in general, like the people who are going to watch the panels, like me, everyone was late basically. The show was supposed to start at 6.30 and because of that it ended up, it ended up starting at like 7.30 or so. So I did not miss anything and I got there I believe a little after 7.30? I'm not sure, but I got there late and I was freaking out. I was like, no, I missed the whole thing. I'm like running there and I'm still sick. My asthma is bothering me. I'm over there like huffing and puffing while I'm like practically running there in the rain. And to find out, no one was on time and I was just a little bit late to the panel. So that was a real blessing in disguise. I wasn't going to be late. But it ended up that right when I went to catch my bus, it left. So I literally watched the bus leaving the bus stop when I was right there and the guy didn't wait for me. Whatever. But that happened. So that already got me mad. But then a bus came and I hopped on it. Then I reached the train station to watch the train leave. So if you add it up, the bus leaving, the train leaving, that's what delayed me really horribly. Because if I would have caught that first bus, and I would have caught the first train that I was supposed to catch instead of like standing there waiting for another bus and then waiting for another train I would have got there in time okay on to the interesting stuff because I'm babbling I got to meet D. we took pictures um we did some snapchatting well well I took a picture for snapchat and then I went to save it and then I didn't post it but good thing I didn't post it because I looked like a potato next to her in the picture like when I smile, my cheeks get super fat. Well, they're already fat, I guess, but they get fatter. Oh, here, I'll show you. See, it just, it, my face just goes so round. So in the picture, she's looking like a god instead of over here like, so yeah. Good thing I didn't post it on Snap. I have the picture saved for memories, but yeah, I didn't, I didn't post it. So that happened. Um, and I'm so excited she's following me on Snapchat woo -woo. and we exchange contact information and stuff like that so that's really cool she's an inspiration and she's like literally making moves for the brown girl community you know the Indian community I couldn't exactly vlog there because it was super loud like very very loud as you can imagine I got like a little clip of how the place look and all of that. I didn't get too much of it. But yeah, it was just super crowded and really noisy because they put us in one little area. So the, the panel people are in the front and of course we're on the other side watching them speak. Thing. 
thing I thought was super super cute so everyone is leaving because um we're getting kicked out and stuff and, like YouTube space was supposed to close at an earlier time and because of all the delays it ended up staying open longer than it was supposed to my opinion it really shows how much Deepika really cares for her subscribers because she ended up staying extra just chatting away with her subbies and other girls and stuff and it was just the cutest thing because everyone else is getting kicked out and they're leaving and she's over there like nope like no fucks was given she was gonna stand there the entire time and talk to her people until she was done and then she was gonna leave And I just thought it was really cute. She ended up sticking around. We ended up walking out together and everything. She basically took the time to talk to everyone that came to see her. Which I thought was pretty cool because she literally made sure that she was able to spend time with everyone. And I'm sure everyone appreciates that. I know I did and I do appreciate that. So yeah, I just am over here gushing about her but... I, I don't know, I appreciate people like that. I'm super tired, I'm super hungry. What's new? I'm always tired and hungry. Sheesh, what animal? Huh, if I was to be an animal, what animal would I be? Tired and hungry all the time. Jinjin, am I you? No, you're not that hungry. But you're always tired. Come say hi. Why are you eating my sock? Oh, he's so gross. Da -dun. Can you give me back my sock, please? Please? Okay, everyone, I am super duper tired and I'm just going to go to sleep now, so I will be ending the vlog here. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to be decorating the tree and just decorating the place in general. I'll be switching out my fall decoration. As you can see, I have a bunch of fall leaves on my TV stand and then I have a pumpkin out and more fall stuff but yeah tomorrow I'm just gonna be switching it up and bringing out Christmas decorations and putting up my tree sorry I thought my dog pooped I was like no I have to go clean poop so random but where was I gosh I, sheesh I need to sleep Jenna where did you poop ew he peed but it stinks so bad Q did he poop Take a look. I hope he didn't poop in the room too. Oh god. I need to end this video. He pooped in the, on his wee pad, right? Where did he poop? All over the room? Well, you guys. I thought I was going to go to sleep and say nice, happy good night to you guys and just crash in my bed after I washed all this off. But no, you heard it for yourself. My dog decided to not use his wee wee pad. He peed on one, he still has another one to poop on. Decided to go in my room and shit all over my floor. Probably because I left him today. Let me stop babbling and end this vlog here. Please subscribe if you're not already subscribed to my channel. This way you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you're already subscribed to my channel, thank you, thank you so much for that. And I love you guys, and I will see you guys tomorrow in my next Vlogmas video, where, like I said, which I'll be decorating, putting up tree, all that good stuff, and more stuff, I don't even know what else, but yeah, I'm just thinking about poop that I have to go clean up on my floor, so, huh, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I don't know what the heck this is. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.